The fifth issue of disagreement may be uh, in the issue of separation. The Bible says, come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean and I will receive you. That context is found in 2 Corinthians chapter 6. God's people are a called out people, called to be separate from unbelievers. But there is not total agreement on what that actually means or to what extent we are supposed to apply it. Most people agree that we are to be in the world, an influence in the world, but not of the world. While believe, will believers dress differently? Will they seek different types of entertainment, have a different vocabulary, different priorities, a different worldview? Yes, indeed. God's people are different from the world around them. Does that mean that we should all be like the Amish and uh, go live in houses without electricity or ride car uh, buggies instead of cars? Or does that mean that we should throw off all restraint and be like the world in an attempt to win the world? Both extremes seem to ignore what the Bible actually teaches. God has called us, commanded us, and provided for us to be holy, but we need to seriously seek his wisdom, his word, his will, to know what ways we should be separate from the unbelievers and in what ways we sh should seek to be an influence in our culture. The sixth way that, sixth thing that Christians often disagree on is the Sabbath day. There have always been some, some groups that believe that we should all worship on the day that they believe is the Jewish Sabbath, the seventh day. And many others have a disagreement as to what we should or should not do in our honor of Sunday or the first day of the week, and what rules of the Sabbath we should still apply today. I really don't think I've ever known anybody who actually obeyed everything the Old Testament said about the observation of the Sabbath. I'm not going to try to tell you exactly how to keep a day unto the Lord, but God said, those that honor me I will honor, and those who despise me shall be lightly esteemed. In 1 Samuel, I believe it is good for you spiritually, physically, culturally, and financially to set aside each uh, a day each week for rest and worship. Number seven, the seventh issue that Christians often disagree on, it is the second coming of Christ. Now, Christians believe that Christ is coming again, but they disagree on the details and the sequence of some of those details. Christianity is based on the fact that God so loved the world and gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He came into the world to be a sacrifice for our sins. He died on the cross. He rose from the dead on the third day. And after 40 days, Christ ascended back into heaven and has promised to come again. It's believed that 10 of the 12 disciples actually died for their faith in Christ. But none of them ever denied his death and resurrection. Christ himself and the angelic messengers and the New Testament writers all agree that he has promised to come again. The emphasis is always on being ready for his coming. But there is a disagreement about exactly when he will come. Does the temple in Jerusalem have to be re rebuilt first? Will the Antichrist set up an evil kingdom first? Where the Will there ever be a great will worldwide revival? I'm getting tongue-tied. Uh, could he return at any moment now? Are there other promises that must be fulfilled first? Here again, we seem to be splitting hairs over the non-essentials. Here is a verse that's easy to understand. Therefore, you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Are you ready right now? You can be. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. That means to place your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, the sacrifice that he made on the cross. He took your punishment, the punishment for your sins, but you must choose to trust him. Trust him enough to confess and forsake your sins. 
Thank you for watching this video and our other lessons. Uh, they're focused on gaining a simple but strong knowledge of what the Bible teaches and the foundations of the Christian faith, the origin and the mission of the church in the 21st century, and how to know to, how to walk with the Lord. Please pray for the effectiveness of these lessons. Watching another video will actually help you to circulate these lessons to other viewers, enabling you to become a missionary to needy, hungry, and lonely hearts. Your support and prayers are what makes God's work possible all around the world. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. May the Lord bless you in a close walk with him.